There's a switch you can flip and you can make America go away. That's the scary thing. Imagine you wake up in your home. It's total darkness. Virtually every study I've heard uh, has an anarchistic component to it. All the amenities of life now just start dropping by the wayside very, very quickly. And that then leads to rioting. It uh, ends many aspects of civilization. It could cause uh, huge numbers of deaths. What's the weak link? What's the Achilles heel? This is our Achilles heel. We don't get a second chance if our grid goes down. Nine out of 10 of us wouldn't make it if an attack on the grid resulted in the power going out and staying out for a year. This country probably can't survive for six months. How are you gonna feed your kids? This is total catastrophe. You gotta get involved. The American people have got to take these matters in their own hands. Frustrated by the obstruction and persistent delays, some communities have decided to take matters into their own hands. Concerned citizens from all walks of life have banded together in places like San Antonio. A leading example is Rock Hill, South Carolina, where local residents came together to take action. The only other approach other than top down is bottom up. Together we agreed on this idea of working the problem from the bottom up. Somebody has to sit down with public officials and, and go through this, and it does take time. And additionally, if you're trying to accomplish anything, it requires getting public officials together. We have to get local people, I believe, involved in the process because they are the ones who understand what the problems are on the local level. People can be brought together, the infrastructure can be assessed, engineering can be done, and cost analysis can be done. In searching for a place where to begin, York County was an obvious place to come because Duke operates two main power plants here, a nuclear plant, and then in North Carolina, just across the border on Lake Wiley, a coal plant. So they had three production plants and they provide electricity to all of York County and in particular Rock Hill. We need ways to ensure that we're gonna have the electrical supply continuously, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Without it, our healthcare systems break down. And when they break down, people die. So we're very interested in being part of the Lake Wally project because it's a way for us to ensure that we can deliver safe, effective care continuously without disruption. The Lake Wiley Project seeks to assure viable power plant and transmission and distribution grid operations through and after a major attack or EMP pulse outage on the electric grid. The city of Rock Hill is um, very supportive of the Lake Wiley plan and they have laid out, it's right at our footsteps, a plan that will harden our assets and protect the citizens of Rock Hill from any risk in the future. So to city of Rock Hill, we really pride ourselves on um, thinking long range, um, being that city that is the example for others. Well, the Lake Wally project has been a great opportunity to really build a consortium. The good news about this project and about studying EMPs is that it is fixable. Uh, the preliminary studies that we've done show for about $100 per customer or per citizen that you could easily take care of these type situations. So we have a fixable solution and a design that's going to be robust and to work for us into the future. And I think our citizens as well as our customers deserve that. I'm the emergency management director with York County. The hardening of the, the grid, that has to be the answer. If we get enough people locally and within the state of South Carolina and Texas and other places engaged on this issue, then we'll put beef on the, the skeleton of, uh, the, of the uh, executive order and the National Defense Authorization Act. Don't sit on your hands and wait for Washington to take this on. I would say don't even wait on your state government to take this on. The people have to contact their elected officials from the local level to the state level to the national level. We cannot afford not to do it because look at the damage and look at what's going to happen if we don't. So uh, ed get educated, get a call to action, and, uh, and don't let the bureaucracy suffocate this good plan. Most communities 
are very similar. They have the same sorts of infrastructure. Every town has water, every town has uh, uh, wastewater, every town has a hospital uh, uh, that can be protected. And uh, we now know how to go about doing that and how much it will cost. People can't ignore dealing with the issue because we can demonstrate we know how to do it and we can afford to do it. I'm Major General Lester D. Eisner, uh, U.S. Army retired, the former Deputy Adjutant General of the South Carolina National Guard. Uh, the South Carolina National Guard, along with the North Carolina Guard and other uh, first responders, have been involved with the Lake Wiley Project since its inception over five years ago. The Lake Wiley Project is a collaborative effort between a lot of smart individuals across the community as a grassroots effort uh, to identify how the urgency of need and the importance of securing our electric grid against electromagnetic pulse and other breaches should they occur. Uh, I'm proud to be a part of the Lake Wiley Project.